Jillian, you're, you're supposed to be in bed. What are you doing here? You could catch something. You mustn't kill a Marcy like that. But she hasn't done anything. Jillian, go back to bed right now. I'm afraid she has done something, Jillian. She's lied to me, she's concealed evidence, and she very likely killed your friend Patrick to keep him from telling your mother something about her past. You would have lost her her job and severely jeopardized the future of someone she loved very much. I'm afraid your friend Marcy is going to prison for a long time. Or worse. No, you can't do that. Marcy didn't kill Patrick. You don't know what she did. Yes, I do know. Jillian, for God's sake, shut up and go back to bed. They're all trying to protect me, you see. That's what all this desperate prevarication has been about. They're just getting trapped further and further in lie after lie and it isn't going to work. Because you're too smart for that, Inspector. So I might just as well tell you the truth and be done with it. Jillian, you don't know what you're saying. Now be quiet this instant and go back to your room or I shall be very cross with you. I killed Patrick. I pushed him down the staircase and it wasn't in the accident. I did it on purpose. You can't believe the word she says, Inspector. She's not well, really. Why would you push Patrick down the stairs? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out. <laughs> Jillian, this is very serious now. It's a matter of life and death and you mustn't say things to me that you don't mean. And if you do mean them, you need to understand that anything you say could incriminate you further and be used against you. I don't care. Mrs. Ravenscroft! I did it, it's true. So leave Marcy alone. Mrs. Ravenscroft, get in here at once! I don't believe you, Jilly. You liked Patrick. He was your friend. You wouldn't do that to him, would you? I did. I swear I did. No, she didn't. Yes, I did. What's the matter? Marcy, what are you bellowing about? Inspector, what are you doing to my child? Why is she in her nightgown? Your child has just confessed to the murder of Patrick Rock. Oh, that's absurd. Why would she do a thing like that? Why would your daughter confess to a murder she didn't commit? Well, that just proves she's lying. Why would she do why does she do anything? Do you think her objective is to make sense? I've never understood a thing that child has said or done. <laughs> I can't talk to her. I can't get her to do anything. She's like a creature from another planet. Planet. She lives in a fantasy world, Inspector. And I should. She's really not confident. And I should think you should. It should be obvious to you by now that she. You can't believe a word she says. Your own mother doesn't believe you either, Jillian. Yes, she does. She knows it's true. Look at her. Why would she pretend not to believe you? Because stupid. She wants you to think I'm insane, so you won't believe me either. Or, at the very least, that it couldn't be held responsible. But the fact is, I'm perfectly sane. And I did do it. I'll spread it in court. So come on, arrest me. Wrap my frail, new round young, trembling body in chains. Come on. I'm not going to believe you until you can give me one good reason why you do such a thing to your bosom friend, Patrick. Mrs. Fletch wants to know. Would anybody like hot chocolate? <laughs> Don't me, because it wasn't my idea. But Mrs. French just says, it, just says that everybody is going to be shouting and screaming at one another all night, and perhaps somebody would like hot chocolate. And I begged her not to send me in because I don't like being yelled at all the time. But if nobody wants me, then I'll just go away. Good night. I pushed Patrick because I was jealous. Because Patrick was sleeping with Dolly. Pardon? With Dolly? Pardon? Patrick was sleeping with Dolly? It wasn't me. I didn't do anything. I just work here. Nobody wants no hot chocolate, so I'm going now. Stay right there! <laughs> it's true. I was in love with Patrick. And I found out he was sleeping with Dolly, and I was very angry at him. <laughs> so I pushed him down the stairs. I want to go home. Oh, shut up, Dolly. You are home. I feel sick. I'm dizzy. Dolly, listen to me. Jillian has just accused you of sleeping with Patrick. Is she telling the truth or isn't she? Oh, Miss Ravenscroft is a good girl, Inspector. She never lied to a policeman. Then you admit it? Admit what? That you slept with Patrick. Uh, no, sir, never. I, I swear on my mother's grave. Oh, your mother lives over a pub in Bristol. <laughs> <laughs> that I swear on my mother's pub. <laughs> then Jillian is lying. Oh, no, sir. Well, it can't be both. Which is it? Which is what? Are you calling me a liar, Dolly? Oh, I'd never do that, miss. That would be disrespectful. I could lose my job. Did you sleep with Patrick or didn't you? I'm going to faint. I'm going to throw up. I'm going to die. I'm shaking 
all over. I can't stand it. Oh, God, I can't stand it. I wish I was in Frog. What on earth is the matter with you, girl? Can't you ask them if they want hot chocolate without having an hysterical fit? I'm going to die. I'm oh, going to die. Stop blathering, you nitwit. What's the matter with you? Jillian says Dolly was sleeping with Patrick. With her? Patrick slept with her. It's true. I saw them in the hayloft. It was a Wednesday. They were completely naked. <laughs> they were going at it like monkeys. Jillian! <laughs> Isn't it true? It wasn't me. It was... It was... Mrs. French! You slept with Mrs. French! <laughs> <laughs> no, Patrick. What on earth are you saying, girl? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I wish I was dead. I wish God would come in a trolley power right now and take me to heaven. And I don't want to live anymore. And I'm going to throw up, but it was Mrs. French that slept with him, I swear. You lying little girl! Oh, oh, Mrs. Oh, French! Oh, 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 hey now, stop that! Stop it! Stop it. Accusing me, God knows what form of indecency, when everybody knows she's the loosest doxy in all of England. That's a lie. I never, well, hardly ever. Patrick, it was you. You did it. You murdered him. I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail. I'm a poor orphan. I swear, you can ask my mother. <laughs> Now everybody just settle down here and let's make some sense out of all this. Dolly, here now, child. No one's going to hurt you, it's all right. You just need to know the truth. You're not accused of any crime. Come on, settle down. Just tell me the truth and everything will be all right. Ah. 